Um, I'm pretty damn hyped, man. I really am. Oh my god! Don't burn me down. Don't burn me down. everybody it's your boy to slab train and welcome guys to another episode of drive club now we have a very special video today now we have received a brand new thrustmaster t300 rs wheel now i am more than excited to get this series going on drive club with this wheel and the best part about this wheel is that this can be actually used with the ps3 and the ps4 so be expecting some gran turismo 6 content going up very soon within the next couple of days now the reason why i'm going back to gt6 a lot of you guys are saying you know slap you haven't posted in a while why go back now and there's a very good reason for that is because i have the wheel now i mean plain and simple man i don't know how else i can say it um the reason why we are going back i i really want to try the game with a proper wheel last time we played it we had the fanatic csr wheel and it just didn't go the greatest so i'm very excited to play with the wheel on that game and i'm even more excited to play drive club with this game um i've been very very hyped up um, I've watched a lot of different people play this game with the wheel. It looks fun. We're going to test this out ourselves. Now, one of the biggest things um, that I was very, very disappointed about, about Drive Club, is the fact that the TH8A shifter, which is right here, and my T3PA pedals do not work with the clutch or the shifter. So I have everything else working, the wheel works, my gas and brake with the T3PA pedals, but sadly enough, my damn shifter does not work with the game. It's just, it's not supported. I've already looked into it, um, and it's just, it's not supported within the game. Now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm looking for a race that I want to drive in with this damn thing, and I just don't know what I want to drive, because I want something a little bit more powerful, and you know what, let's see if we can maybe beat... I don't think I can even go into that, can I? No, I need 46. I only got damn 40. We're going to try to get into this for this one here. Let's go to the best of British Championship right now, and let's get this going right here. We're going to be driving the damn Lotus right now. Thing looks vicious right here. Now, it's mid-engine, obviously, so the slides are going to be very, very minimal. Who knows, though? I mean, this game really throws some curveballs at you, and you really don't know what to expect. Uh, but yeah, going back, Drive Club does not support the TH8A shifter or the T3PA pedal. So for all you guys out there um, that are looking to play Drive Club with those additions, um, you can't. It's very sad, unfortunate. I'm hoping that they'll maybe do an update because they have all the features of the wheel. I mean, you can go in and fine-tune your wheel settings, but there's just no clutch and there is no handbrake. So it's a little bit frustrating. I'm stuck using the paddle shifters and no clutch for hopefully not very long i'm hoping that they'll do something about it very soon and oh my god dude. now i will say um i did turn down my force feedback a little bit um i have it set to i believe about 70 percent right now steering assist is off and have a quick look at this actually i really thought that this was a neat feature that they did and um they have actually gave us the ability to tune mid game which is very very cool to see so we're gonna i don't know if i want the vibration on high yeah you know what let's do high man why not and um, that starting little run there, I have played the game just a little bit to make sure that everything does work and that, you know, the video goes smoothly and all. Um, but I gotta say, though, I am very impressed with what I have played with already. I mean, honestly, I don't know why everybody was a little upset about this game, especially if you guys had a wheel. Now, if you guys did not have a wheel complaining about this game, then you definitely need to go and maybe pick up a damn TS-300 or sorry the t300rs because this game is a lot of damn fun now feelings of the force feedback it's very strong it feels very good oh it almost feels to equivalent um, i'm trying to think of what this feels like it's hard to say it kind of feels like a set of quartz are almost now i know a lot of you guys are saying well, you know slap what the hell are you talking about a set of quartz of four comparing it with drive club in the same sentence now you know hold on man hold on don't chew me out yet in terms of, you know, the force feedback and in terms of, you know, how everything feels, I think Drive Club did an exceptional job on really, you know, bringing the steering wheel to life. And, you know, whoever was working on the wheel, um, they did a great damn job, you know, really using the proper force feedback settings. And 
honestly, I mean, I can kind of relate this to a real world car. Now, obviously, when you get into the drifting and such like that, it kind of goes out the window. Not too much, though, and I will show you guys that a little bit later. Um, but I gotta say, though, this game is dialed in for anybody using a wheel. And, you know, if you guys are thinking about it, and, you know, you're on the edge, I give this my seal of approval for using a wheel with Drive Club. Um, I can honestly say that this is going to make the game 120% more fun. Oh, shit! And I can honestly see myself playing this game a lot more in terms of online, in terms of offline, um, and just overall having a good time playing, man. I mean... It's a totally different game than Forza, and you guys gotta understand that when coming in to, say, Drive Club. This is... Oh, I gotta hit the damn sides. And you cannot do that on Drive Club, man. They will punish you for doing such a thing. Try to get our braking points down. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that Drive Club is a simulator in any way. The gas, the brake, it all feels very kind of arcade racer-like. And it's... It's a good feeling, it really is. You know, coming from Forza, it's a nice change, and it's something that, you know, will take a little bit of time to get used to, but at the same time, it will be a lot of fun once you master it, if you will. Um, you know, probably say the learning curve on this was probably about maybe 15 minutes to really get used to the wheel, um, to really, you know, find myself at a comfortable point where I can, you know, honestly hold a line when I'm drifting and such. And, um... I mean, like I said, this is... Oh, man, we didn't beat our time? First damn race with the wheel. We didn't beat our damn time, man. Okay. That's all right, though. We got the new Bentley Continental. GT Speed. Appreciate it. We're going to continue this. But, I mean, like I said, it's not the, you know, the physics of the game. It's the force feedback, what I'm talking about. That's where I'm saying, you know, it has a great force feedback system. Don't get that mixed up with the fact that I'm, you know... Pumping up the game to a simulator because I can already see a couple people saying, you know, Slab, this ain't no damn simulator. I understand that 110%. Do not worry, boo boo, alright? Now, another nice feature, uh, uh, actually, with Drive Club and the wheel is that you can actually change the buttons uh, accordingly on the wheel. So I have now my handbrake on my R2 button, um, which is really nice because the fact, obviously, with the handbrake, it was, I believe, um, I think it was square actually and you know this compared to this is a lot easier when you're trying to hit your e-brake right here that is very tough especially when you are you know sideways so when it's up here you have a lot easier chance of hitting it and that's the way that i have it on forza and it just works on the same wheel which is really nice so here we go ladies and gentlemen we're driving the maserati right now the gran turismo this thing is going to be vicious right there, guys. And I got to say, Drive Club does a great job in really, I would say, putting you in the race and really kind of having that atmosphere and aroma of, you know, we're in this day of race right here, and you got to be careful of what's going down. Honestly, like I said, I have really enjoyed Drive Club the last couple of days playing it. I know a lot of people got a lot of flack. I know there's not a lot of users on the game, and, you know, it is what it is. Everybody has different tastes in the game. Personally, myself, I do like it. Um, now, another feature which is really nice with the wheel setup that we are running is that you can actually look left and right on your D-pad. You're not able to do that on Forza Horizon 2. So it's a nice change. Jeez, oh, man, the guy put me to the outside. I could not do anything about that. God damn, man. That's all right, though. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it is very nice to be able to look to your left and right when you're driving. Um, as I said, in Forza Horizon 2, they don't give us that opportunity to do so. And we are just getting passed like crazy right now, though. We screwed up on probably the biggest high-speed section that we could have not screwed up on, man. Vibrations on this game feel great. Um, it is on high right now, and I gotta say, it really does feel like I am... Oh! Driving this damn Maserati right now, and obviously first person view is not my favorite in terms of driving you guys already know this i'm a fan of the third person and i really do enjoy the wheel with third person as well too you know some games i just i can't do it i'm you know i just don't like the way that the camera follows the car um i gotta say on, on drive club it is something that i can get used to it's really nice you know the camera actually follows it rather than you know on some of the other games it just kind of is very static and i think 
I mean, as I said, overall, Drive Club did a great job in terms of, you know, really making this game stand out and shine. It just it didn't appeal to everybody because it's strictly a racing game. And look at this, man. We have a three-way run going down on this run here. Excuse me, we're taking that inside, baby. Just a little contact. Nothing crazy. Woo! I got some goosebumps on that damn run right there. Nothing is better than playing a damn arcade racing simulator, if you will. Full-blown Astro A40s pumping in my damn ears and coming in third place, unfortunately. That's the sad part. It's okay, though. We'll do better next time, man. Don't you worry about a thing right here. Not bad, though. I'll take third. I'll take third. Now, we are going to get into some drifting. I want to show you the mechanics, the physics of drifting. Um, I got to say, I like the drifting. It is, again, something where you need to um, really kind of get used to. Oh, it looks like we actually have a full cup that we have to do. This is round two. We're going to do this race because we have to do it in order to complete the actual circuit. Now, actually, there's two more races, too. So we need to finish in the top three. An average speed of is at least 257 kilometers an hour. Now, if you guys want to see more Drive Club action, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you guys want to see it, slap that damn like button. Let me know in the comments. I mean, that's, that's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, though, I can see Drive Club being, you know, maybe a two to three week per schedule video. Um, as I said, I'm really enjoying it. It's fresh content, and it's fun to watch. I mean, at least I think so. I mean, when I'm playing, I'm like, damn, I'd, I'd watch this, you know what I'm saying? But here we go. We got a hell of a damn run. We just ate shit on that. We got to restart that. Ooh, we just want to restart the round, not the championship. I do like how they give you the option, though, to at least tell you, you know, you're restarting the whole thing. You want to do that? No, man. Midnight Club Dub Edition was notorious for that. You'd have to restart the entire damn thing. You'd be so pissed off with yourself. Like, why did I do that, man? There we go. Running this fifth gear right now, baby. Oh, that guy just ate shit, man. Have to slow down a little bit coming up here. Oh, shit. It's all right, though. Got that double downshift, though, man. The scenery on this game is absolutely gorgeous, and it's it's very refreshing to come to this game, you know, when you've been surrounded by, I'd say, hills and mountains and, you know, all these things on Forza Horizon 2, Forza 5, very kind of, I'd say, I'd say motor speedway style tracks, you know, staying with Forza Horizon 2 had a lot of, I would say, more of like the open world rally style, and, you know, Drive Club really focuses on the whole package, you know, they have... They have anything from, as I said, the Arctic, they got rain, they got snow, they got a lot of crazy things, and we're going to be diving into all that with the wheel, kind of giving my two cents on it, and, you know, seeing how it performs. Oh, shit. And, you know, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for saying this, but in terms of racing on this game, it feels hella similar to Forza Horizon 2. It really does. Hate on it. Go ahead, baby. And look at the drifting right now. We sliding this bitch. Oh my god, dude. I told you. Drive Club. Underrated game of 2014. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to try and slide this out here. Just getting understeer. That's it. Can't do much with this big boat, man. Look at this thing. This thing's like, nah, don't slide me, man. Don't slide me. Here we go. We're going to do some cockpit right here. Ooh, baby. We fly. Let's get a rear view, rear view mirror check because we can. Oh shit! Oh my god! Hold this bitch! Woo! I don't know how much more I want to do this in first person. Okay, we're all right though. I mean, just have a look at the wheel though. The wheel mechanics alone should tell you guys, you know, how similar this game looks and feels to Forza Horizon. So if any of you guys are kind of questioning it. Um, it really is, and I mean, you have my word on that. I mean, I don't know if I've ever let you guys down before, but, you know, my kind of ideas and my thoughts, they're not paid, you know, they're not someone else's ideas, they're mine. And, you know, that's how I feel. I've played a lot of games in my time of, you know, being on YouTube with the wheel, and I gotta say, Drive Club feels great. Almost to the fact where I prefer Drive Club right now more than Grid Autosport. Um... You know, if I was comparing it to, say, what else can I compare it to? That's like a sim arcade racer. Um, I don't even know if I can say that in the same sentence. Is that allowed? Sim arcade racer? 
I don't even know, man. I'm not really too sure on that, but we're going to do it, though. I'm trying to think of any other games. I can't really think of it at the time right here, but it definitely does... Oh, shit! It definitely does feel really nice, though. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. The entire game! Oh, my God, bruh. No! No! Come back! No, that's two, man! Come on, now! Ah! Oh. God damn, man! That's all right, though. We're gonna do one drifting event. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a teaser in terms of what we are doing. We got our two stars, though. Hell yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Give me that level up, though. Woo! All right, we're going to... Can we just quit? Come on, man. I just want to leave. I want to drift. Thank you. All right, so we have 46 stars. So if you guys want to see me take on the amateur trophy, make sure you guys slap that damn like button. We'll be definitely getting that going. Now, I have also subscribed to PSN's network, so I do have multiplayer back, which is going to be perfect. Um, I'm very excited to get online going again, especially with the wheel. And let's go to good old Canada, eh? And let's drift some damn tracks here. Now, this one actually looks pretty damn dope. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the damn name of this thing. We're going to just take it on clear, dry roads. I want to get a feel for the car and not the weather. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to feel this thing. Now, I'm thinking we're going to drive the BMW M5. Um, I know we drove this last time, but in terms of stats, it just overpowers a lot of it. Um, I was going to go with the Mercedes AMG. It's a little bit of a wider car, so we're going to try to just hold off on that. I'm going to take the four-door for right now, and we're going to rip this thing right here. So I'm pretty hyped. I'm excited. Hope you guys are as well, too. Drive Club PS4 action going down. We have the beautiful TS 300 RS wheel. If you guys would like to pick one up yourself, go and check in the description box below. You'll find yourselves a damn link. You click on that link, and you go buy yourselves a damn set, man, because this is a hell of a damn fun wheel to use. The pedals that we did receive with the TS, or sorry, the T300, I keep wanting to say TS, um, those are very sturdy pedals. So, as I said, I'm using my T3PA pedals right now, but even the wheel and pedals that you get are great. And it's really nice to see that they've given you the GTE rim add-on right out of the box. And we're going to do a comparison video on both of those very soon. Um, so I will be talking about both wheels, you know, pros and cons of them, and, you know, my thoughts as well, too. Oh shit, I need that damn e-brake and the clutch so bad, man. If I could have a clutch, oh my god. Okay, okay. Let's get this going here. Oh, that was a terrible run right there, man. Thing just kept on wanting to grip up. We didn't let loose enough. Um, that was my biggest issue was I just I couldn't throw it, man. Get that shit. That's what I'm talking about right there. Ah! Gripped right back up on me. And that's what I'm talking about, that learning curve. Obviously, it's going to come, um, but it's just, it, it really is a game where you have to learn, you know, how the mechanics play out in this game. And it is a little bit difficult, and this track is obviously not the best suited with this car. So I think we may switch up tracks for this. And at least so you guys can see a proper run on a track that I actually enjoy. Yeah, this BMW just does not like to throw it, man. So what we're going to do for our last run, and I just want to point out here quickly how fast the menu systems are in this game. I have just left this game, and I'm going to be rejoining another game very, very damn soon here. So we're going to go to, I think, where is it? India, maybe? I forget where the hell I went. Um... Yes, I think this is it. All right, so same thing applies. We are going right back into this right here, and here we go. Now, I'm telling you, the loading systems in this game are very damn fast. We're even going to skip that and just go right into it, if you guys are saying. Now, have a quick look at the leaderboards right now, ladies and gentlemen. I am ranked sixth right now. Check me out, baby. We're ranked sixth right here. Give me a damn medal or something right here. Now, have a quick look at the uh, smoke in this game. We're going to just do a nice little burnout. Oh, get it! Yeah, there we go.
go with that counter steer action going. This is what I'm saying, man. The force feedback feels really nice. It really does. Well, obviously, we are still turning in. Oh, get it, baby. Get it. Woo! I love this damn game, man. Ah, just threw it a little bit too hard on that corner. That's okay, though. It's a big damn bitch to be throwing though. See right there I could have really used my damn clutch right there. Oh, coming in fully sideways on that run. We got a score of 3,400. Now, we're gonna run this back one more time, but that's just a little taste of, you know, the drifting on this game. We have so many cars to get through, and we have so many cars to start driving. Um, I am pretty damn excited on what the hell is going to be coming in the next couple days, baby. Look at my damn computer flashing. Oh my god. Oh my... Bang that shit, man. Oh, we could have maybe had a top five score on that if we could have just held that out. Oh my god, dude. So guys, that is Drive Club in a nutshell with the wheel. Um, as I said, I am very, very excited to bring you guys more content on this game. Um, I mean, as I said, the wheel itself just works. It flows, it feels great on the speeds, it feels great on the drifting, circuit racing, whatever we're doing, it is a lot of damn fun to use. And I said, I give this thing my full approval for Drive Club with the wheel. If you guys are kind of on the fence about it, pick that shit up guys you will not be saddened i promise i have put up a photo of my wheel settings that i am using straight from my computer control panel on my instagram as well as my twitter um so if you guys are new to the channel and want to see more don't forget to hit that damn button down below subscribe and become a member of team slab today to start spinning some damn rubber with us as well too guys you guys can follow me on facebook instagram and twitter all of which are in the description box down below. Ladies and gentlemen, Chibota Slap Train, I'm out. Peace. Don't burn me down.